We all drove in horse-drawn carriages around the old fortress town of Ava, A-V-A. Now these people in Ava are like shut off from the world. They have this water all the way around them. And it was a fortress city. It's very old. But they still go ahead with their lives planting food and doing this and that. The food was very good. Our driver was Osan Mingyi. And the horse was Nay Nay. Hey, Nay Nay. How's that cutest thing? Nay Nay. The food is so good, but I am careful and I am sticking to the rice and vegetables. Say, don't they have a buffet? Everybody has buffets in the whole world. They don't know anything else except, but, well, they do, of course. They have different kinds of services. But uh, you have many choices there. We took an old small ferry boat to sail around the island fortress town of Ava. I didn't ask, where are the life preservers? Uh, there was none. And I saw water in the bottom of the boat. <laughs> I got in, let's go. Ava town was about five miles square, and we went for a ride. When we got there, we rode in the van. We saw the pottery people. Each year they build a new kiln and each pot is known by its owner because of the design on the outside of the pot. In the villages, the kites are great. Uh, the kites. What am I thinking of? The kids. Kids. Ki kids are so great. They're smiling. They're asking our names. And they're just being fun to be with. And the food was great. At lunch, we had a the restaurant called a Happy House. Then the group went to the silversmith's house. I stayed in the car and rested my legs. As we were walking to the car, here's an older lady, and she saw how I was having trouble walking. She pointed to my legs. She couldn't speak to me, but she asked me with her eyes, do they hurt, you know? And I shook my head, yes. And then she patted her legs as if to say, me too. She was bobbing her head up and down. Oh, yes, I know, me too. And then she walked me to the van, held my arm onto the car. You see? Old people all over the world are having leg troubles. I am so surprised that I am because my legs were always the fastest part of me, outside of my mouth, of course. <laughs> you see the local ladies walking around with large trays on their heads. Uh, they're selling candies, um... They're selling box lunches, selling fruits, all sorts of things. They are good looking and they have yellow clay paste on their faces for the sun and for a good complexion. Uh, I said yellow clay and it is not clay. It comes from the inside of a tree. As soon as I can, I'll, I'll let you know what the name of the tree was. I see men and children uh, also using it. We are at the open air market called Zegio. Z E G Y O. Zegio. Whatever that means. The three are shopping, and if they see the dolls, I'm looking for dolls for the grand girls, uh, the, the great grand girls. They will call for me. The only thing good about my legs going bad is that when I sit and wait for them, I meet the nicest people, and that is what a trip is supposed to be. In a way, you meet the people, and you look at the scenery and, 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 and the culture. Now, in Ava, we saw alms bowls being made. Some are very plain, out of mahogany wood, and some are out of silver. I didn't ask, why the difference? Silver? And they're collecting rice? The monastery is Managande. And they had the 1,200 monks in line for the food that day, and boy, did they ever move fast. Then I was wondering, is there any monkettes around here? That's <laughs> Of course, of course there are. There were nuns. The head nun, the head mistress, was 84 years old, and they wear a pink as versus the monks' dark burgundy and old rosé. So the head nun was Dasomani. And the convent was the Deyatiji. The nuns all had shaven their heads and wore the pink langis. The head nun, Dasomani, held my hand the whole time. I could not get away. <laughs> she kept my hand and she patted me and patted me. Uh, I think it was because I was old and I had on a langi. 
also. They all love nylangi. It is a piece of material tied around the waist that goes almost to the floor, and I wore a white buff. Meme said, because I wore the langi, it showed respect for them, and my being old also showed respect. I don't know how that works out. I can't help my age. I told him my langi came from Indonesia, Bali, and they all felt it, and they, oh, oh, and then they turned it over and they looked at the back, oh, and then they turned it back and they looked at the pattern, Ah, oh, <laughs> oh, God. 